This is a photo I took during an AFL game I attended. Each player now wears a GPS tracking device during the game. While these devices are currently used to analyse individual players, things like maximum player speed, what if they could be used to analyse teamwork and coordination? Questions like, in defence, how well does the team spread out to cover the field, or how do they narrow down when attacking? Where are the hidden corridors teams follow to score a goal? My research aims to develop the software architecture to bridge the gap between raw GPS sensor that deals with time, latitudes, longitudes, and the high-level coaching insights about team game style. Above are the typical data processing steps a software engineer would need to implement to extract insights from data. I've analysed each of these stages in detail through the perspective of sports, and what I've found is that although each of these concepts may seem like a solved problem, they need to be re-engineered in order to properly support GPS tracking data. For example, to de-identify data, football teams typically replace player names with a unique code. However, players can be easily re-identified by cross-referencing the GPS location with a photo at a known point in time, like the one you see here. I found that representing the team formation as a point cloud allows us to capture the player formations in a way that obscures the identity of individual players whenever two players cross paths, while still preserving the ability to analyse the team as a whole. Similarly, AFL has special normalisation requirements, as each field has a slightly different shape and orientation. I've developed a technique for semi-automating the choice of coordinate systems at each venue to account for this. Even basic things, such as the fact that the teams switch goals, directions, at the end of each quarter, are important for us to consider when summarising and visualising the data. Without this, the two directions cancel each other out and the results are meaningless. This may seem obvious to us as humans, but even sophisticated machine learning algorithms will not automatically pick up on this without very large data sets. Making the most of every data point requires a carefully designed data processing pipeline that encodes our implicit human understanding of the game into the design of its architecture.